Hey guys, Furum here, and today I'm going to be testing the Chevrolet Corvette C8 in Forza Horizon 4 multiplayer, continuing my trend of driving Asphalt 9 cars in Forza, and well, I can't actually even get this car in Asphalt 9, so I figured it'd be good to do here. I'm using Hlund H's Race Tune. This puts the car in class S1 at a rank of 900, and as you can see, we've got a pretty full room again. The first race in the video is going to be on Greendale Club Circuit. And this was probably one of the craziest races that I had when recording. If you own this game and would like to get into a video of mine, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is join the Purple Team Discord. The link will be in the description. If you go to the Special Roles channel, you will see an option to choose the Forza Horizon 4 role. If you choose that, I will then tag that role whenever I do these private lobby races. And you have a pretty good chance then of ending up in the video. So how good is this Corvette? Well, it is isn't the best S1 class car, there are certainly better ones, but in my time driving it, it seems to be pretty good and well-rounded and definitely competitive in its class. I'm using the tune suggested to me by Ardno105, who is the guy up in first place right now, also driving a Corvette, presumably with the same tune. Now, I know I'm not the greatest Forza driver, but I still had some very good races with this tune, and I would definitely recommend it. The only thing was it seemed slightly skiddy-ish to me, which the other race tune that H Lund H made didn't seem like, so yeah, if you want one that isn't quite as skiddy feeling, but that one is a slower tune overall, so definitely keep that in mind when making your choices. So currently we're into third position with Ardno way ahead, and we're on the tail of Est Null here, with Tired Flame not too far behind us. Some people have noticed that I'm doing more of a variety of games than I usually do on my channel, with some Asphalt 9, some Asphalt 8, and some Forza. That's just because, well, Asphalt 9, my main one, um, has some issues right now, and so I'm trying to just expand out and play some more to, to sort of give myself and the rest of you guys a little break, I guess. I am still planning to stream this coming weekend, this coming Saturday, at the usual time. However, since I can't play the Devo special event, I'll probably just be doing multiplayer as the usual. Maybe the Huracan or some event for the Onyx, which is likely to be Unleashed, will come out before then, and then we can play that. But yeah, it, it's kind of annoying sitting, seeing the Devo special event with the little green exclamation mark by it, knowing that you can't actually play it because you haven't spent real money on the game, which I am going to continue to not do because, again, that's really what I want to show on my channel, just how much you can do without spending money on the game, because I know there are a lot of people who want to stay free to play and want to see what you can do with that. I've now got 99 cars in the game after unlocking the Genty, the Carrera, and one other car through those Masterpiece packs not too long ago, so probably going to be a video up about a few of those sometime, if they're actually decent at lower stars. I'm pretty sure the Genty won't be, but the Carrera and the Vanda might be. And here we finish the race in third place, although it says fourth for some reason, I do not quite know why. Forza does weird stuff like that sometimes. But in any case, we are now on to our second race, which is Derwent Lakeside Sprint, again with nearly a full lobby. This was probably one of the most intense races for me, especially toward the end that I did while recording, so I knew I definitely had to add it in. So a lot of people have been wondering, what is the state of other games on my channel, like for example The Crew 2 and Need for Speed Heat? Some people have asked about Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered. I don't plan to buy that game, but I do plan to make more videos about Need for Speed Heat, which I've only actually made one of so far. I would love to make more in that game, and The Crew 2, which I've only made a couple of. I'm just not quite entirely sure what I should make content about in that game. You guys really enjoyed my cross-country drive with the Shelby GT500 that I did in the Crew 2 a while back, where I point out that hotel that I stayed at in Dallas when uh, I did the ESL Season 1, but that's kind of a one-off thing. I can't really do that again, and I don't really know much about the whole multiplayer aspect of those games. There doesn't seem to be a lot of just straight multiplayer racing, so I'll try to figure something out with that. We've also got Forza Horizon 3, which Shadow Reaper has purchased for me that I made a video on a while back, with the Hot Wheels expansion, which, by the way, is actually rumored to be in the works for Forza Horizon 4. Yeah, another Hot Wheels expansion, which honestly, if that's true, I'm looking forward to because I had a lot of fun driving that in Forza Horizon 3, and I would love to see it again. The Lego thing was really cool, but I just feel like Hot Wheels kind of more encapsulates the whole driving racing feel that we have in Forza. Now, coming up toward the end of this race, 
I had a very intense battle with Fundroid here. He is driving a Koenigsegg CC8S, and we're now moving on to the last third of this track, which I knew had a fairly long and straight section. Now, he was getting ahead here, but I was pretty sure that I was a faster car overall, so I was going to try just to catch up and do the best that I could there, and I could see I was already beginning to do so. Unfortunately, one of my biggest weaknesses that I have found that I have in racing games is actually being able to pass people when I come up to them. That's one reason why I like Ghost Season so much in Asphalt 9. Here, I almost got by him, but unfortunately, I dropped a little bit behind, and I came in second, just barely behind him. That was a very fun race. I have just received word that the Grand Prix has come out in Asphalt 9 for the new D-Class Huracan, so I guess that's what we'll be doing in next week's stream. We're moving on to a circuit race, Moorhead Wind Farm Circuit. Now, this is one that I have had a lot of experience with, so I do enjoy it quite much. However, one thing about circuit races is that they can be sort of repetitive, which is why I don't usually try to choose them a lot, but I like to pick them up occasionally because I I know that some people like them and they can still make for some very good races like the ones that we got here especially when you've got a big pink limo drifting around the track so I've been trying to think what other cars could I make videos about in Forza Horizon 4 I definitely I want to stick to the cars that are in either Asphalt 8 or 9 to give people something to compare them to in a game that they know most because I know that most of my viewers are here because of Asphalt 8 or Asphalt 9 probably nowadays but I feel like Forza Horizon 4 is similar enough and still fun enough in a lot of aspects that they can still enjoy it even if they don't own the game. So I've been thinking about possibly doing a race in the Rimax C2 next. Let me know what you guys think about that. So here we come in second place again. I cut out the second and third laps because that's what I was kind of talking about with the repetition. It just was the same thing again. I stayed in second place throughout the entirety of those two laps and now we're on to our final race which is the Horizon Festival Sprint. A fairly short and simple track that I've always enjoyed. So now it's time Time for my general review about this car. It seems like a pretty good competitor in Class S1, a fairly well-rounded car, definitely not the best in class, but it's got good acceleration, the top speed is decent too, and overall, it's definitely just a nice fun one to go for, especially being a new car, being the C8 and all, I know that people are going to be going for it a lot. And of course, if you want some extra power, you can always make your car purple. <laughs> some people were commenting on my 4GT Mark II video from yesterday that the reason why I didn't win that race was because my car wasn't purple. Well, that was actually the first race I played, and I did change my car to purple in some of the later ones, but unfortunately, even the power of purple was not enough to overcome the lack of power of that car being so slow. And yes, that video was kind of a joke because, well, the car itself seems to be kind of a joke. I don't know why they made it so slow in its class, but I'm pretty sure if they made it even like 5 to 10 miles per hour faster, it would be a pretty good competitor in low end B class. But right now, it's just not really, and I don't think it would be even at max. I held Ardno and Skipper off throughout most of the race, but they passed me around one of the turns, and so I come in third, but not too far behind them. It was always fun racing these guys, and I hope to do it again. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you have enjoyed, and consider subscribing for more Asphalt and other games content, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!